talent, Jumo. I'm from Zimbabwe and I'm a 120 under 40 champion, family planning champion. I like to talk about uh, family planning. I like to talk about contraceptives. Uh, I like to, co uh, to promote comprehensive sexuality education for young people, specifically adolescent girls, because I believe that if a girl is able to prevent unplanned pregnancies, she can pursue her dreams undisturbed. Um, there are people who have influenced my passion for working with the girl child. First, I want to talk about my sister who su supported me um, through my entire school life. A teacher herself, she made sacrifices to ensure that I would get an education. Um, along the way, I made an, an, an interesting encounter with a woman who was totally looked down upon. She was a sex worker. And I think I was at a point where I was panicking because I had engaged in a sexual encounter and I was afraid that I was going to become pregnant. I looked around me and the only person I could freely talk to was this woman who was a sex worker because hmm, she's the only person in my community whom I felt um, could talk to me freely without me having a fear of being judged. So she taught me about emergency contraception. And I have felt that I want to be that person whom a young girl in my neighborhood can turn to and receive information about sex and sexuality matters without the fear of being misunderstood or being judged. So I think that that woman is my shiro. I was held by a sex worker and I'm working with sex workers in this life. But then secondly, because I also go to train as a teacher, um, I like to work with adolescent girls. And I believe that yes, the formal education system is important for a child to go through, but equally important is the whole issue of comprehensive sexuality education. So in my work, I work with teams of young people who then work with their peers uh, around, you know, equipping them with information on uh, contraception, uh, the contraceptive strategies that are available to them, and just making sure that they're linked to services. And I'm, I'm really passionate about that. Through the course of my life, I also had a very painful encounter. Uh, I'm a survivor of day trade. And again, that's, that's, that, that has um, influenced my interest to work with adolescent girls. Because in my country, about 42% of you know, our girls' first sexual encounter is as a result of day trade. And I just believed that I did not have an adequate support system when I encountered this, uh, this situation. And, um, and I've set out in my life to say, I want to be able to work with adolescent girls so that if unwanted sex happens, they have a support system. They can be able to, to access, you know, emergency contraception if they need it, but also if they want to be able to make a police report, I'm there to, to support them. I believe that if we support our adolescent girls enough and ensure that they have information on contraception and that they can access the information when they need it, the services when they need it, um, we can protect them and we can support them, um, attain their dreams. And that's what my life is about.